What is going on, everybody? Back on it. Oh, that should probably be a little loud, huh? One Piece 399. We'll be in the 400s after this episode. We have some crazy abilities and powers being revealed. Um, kids' power. I mean, we'll watch it be some also some crazy depth exp explanation of what it is. It, it seems a little bit more straightforward as far as... I don't know if he's a magnet man or whatever his devil's fruit is, but he seems to have the ability to kind of some Nagato push pull with him as the epicenter, I'm assuming. Um, what the next levels of that is, um, I don't know, because I brought that up last discussion of I'm curious to kind of see people's devil's fruits go to those next levels because we usually just see them on like a base level and then we defeat them and we keep it moving. But how Luffy has his like gear two and gear three. I want to see, okay, so he can push and pull, but what's the next level to it, you know? Um, Law, on the other hand, I'm assuming his is a devil's fruit. Um, but what is, but what's going on? He's got some kind of like Sasuke. I can change places with, but I, but he doesn't have to change places with the objects. He can make two things change places. Um, now what's wild with that is he seems to be able to like, specifically select the things of the object he's trying to take place so it's not like he just replaces like these two guys on screen right he just replaces their position or whatever he could replace like just their arm their head as we saw so it looks like it's very detailed or whatever the hell that is i'm assuming it has to be involved in the radius or at least one of the things he's trying to switch has to be involved in that radius that he made but is it is it connected to the sword? Does he need the sword for that as well? Um, because, I mean, you would hate to see him be without that sword or whatever that is. And then it kind of just kills off whatever his ability is. So we got two new abilities we're trying to get going. Uh, one of the admirals is showing up. I don't think we've ever seen him yet. Um, and is there still one we have? I think we've got name dropped all three, but we've only seen two on screen. I don't know. There's a lot going on. Um, and then we got Rayleigh as well. Uh, and the whole like ace white beard stuff in the background. So we'll see. We will see. Marines are so useless. I've yet to see anybody besides Okaji like actually stand on business. I'm trying to, I'm trying to see some Marines like about that life. Oh, and then we saw Doflamingo last episode talk about how it's about to be seven warlords versus Whitebeard. Like, Jesus, Whitebeard carries that much weight that he can take on seven warlords at the same time, plus the Marines that are probably going to be funding them? Seems insane. I don't know if Whitebeard himself is that strong, his crew plus him is that strong, what his or his ability is. But he's not even at peak right now. He looks like he's on his last legs. And these guys aren't making, like, any ground out here, by the way. And see how he can switch that guy's head, but that guy doesn't die? How long does that stay active for? Like, could he just leave the Grand Line with that guy's head? And that guy just technically just always stay alive? Or what? I don't know. I don't know what the time limit on that is. Will he just always cease to be ahead? Like he'll just be ahead forever if he's never put back on his body or what? What? Yeah, do not enter the circle. Do not enter that circle. So maybe he doesn't switch the places. He just can cut anything in that circle? I don't I don't know. I don't know. Old Magneto over here. 
Tang. So maybe this, maybe inside the circle he can. Whoa, 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 whoa! Is it specific? Oh, so he is Magneto. I thought it would, he could he could repel, push, pull anything. So it's not a gravity thing. It is specifically metals like swords, guns, all that. Damn. Okay. Well, I would have preferred if he was on his like Nagato Almighty push. Like it was just gravitation around him. He could push push pull anything. Maybe, but I swore he was push pulling people last episode. No. I don't know. So he can just essentially buggy dissect anything he wants. But then he can also put anything he wants back together, though. He does have some, like, chop, chop fruit. But he can put the chop, chop on others that's not him. Oh, God. Might want to move. That's kind of dope. Yeah, I need some specifics on these abilities. Oh, Panda. I feel like Rayleigh could have walked out there, hit some like domain expansion and walked right back out. Would have been less destructive and probably twice as fast. Oh, shit. I forgot he shrinks. Is he the weakest of the three? Nah, 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 nah. I don't know why you gotta go gear three right there, too, especially. But I guess just for show. Gear two would have been more useful because it doesn't shrink him. He's, he's, he's useless right now, by the way. Useless. All for a little bit of, for a little bit of juice. Mm -mm. This is when Rayleigh comes in right here. Hit us with something. Because we really didn't do much, by the way. Like, we didn't clear out shit. That was quick. He's like, but I gotta go. Oh. oh, like he wants to like assert dominance at some point. Uh, he said the thing. He said the thing. Oh, now we're gonna get to see the uh, the seconds in command do a little bit of work. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah, but like, there's people out there that are like him. Like, we want to get our hands on it. Somebody out there that wants it just as bad as him. A lot of people have given up. Yeah, it's time to GTFO though. For real, for real. We gotta, okay, we're going to get to see all their abilities. Some mummy fire breather. Oh. Just a bear. Like, he's just a bear. Just a bear. So this is a good quick way to show like all the abilities of the crewmates. Like real quick.
Someone gonna release our man here? Can you release it without making it explode? Couldn't he like separate his head, take it off, and then put his head back on or something? Probably could, right? He could separate the, the giant's head from his body, take the chain off, toss the chain somewhere before it explodes, put his head back on. That seems decent enough. I will say though, the guy that's like dependent upon the mag uh, the mechanical blades, he's putting a lot of faith in that machinery. Guys, do we have a plan of escape? Hey, this is how we get out. We need a fish. We need a flying fish. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. We gotta get out, we gotta get out, we gotta get out. Quickly, like, actually gotta get out. Oh, when did he get when did he get the Genjutsu going? Uh. He's like, did you call me handsome? Dislocated spine, but not really. The amount of Robin could have the highest body count on the show right now. If they wanted to go there with her ability. My god, every time they show that. But she's just giving people free adjustments is all, really, because they end up being fine. Mm-mm-mm. Alright, give us up his moment. Whoa! Okay, Chopper. They're giving everybody's crew a moment here. There's just no end to these Marines. Yeah. There's no way we're out of breath, guys. They're the main criminals, he says. <laughs> oh, we'll just dodge this, huh? Okay, give it to her. Let her do her fucking power pole extend shit. <laughs> the day that pole gets broken, bro. I'm assuming that's what Law did, right? I'm assuming he's separate. We'll probably never know. We'll probably never know how he freed that giant right there. I feel calling him a giant. I don't know. He just seems to be just a little bit bigger. Regardless, we're probably never going to see how he got that off. I'm assuming... He just... Separated the man's head, but it didn't explode But he didn't touch it though. He just separated the head collar comes off stick the head back on Okay, we don't have to deal with the explosion if you don't mess with it Are we really just just we're just out, huh? I feel like they've got to have something with the Admiral showing up um, We'll see though And they're over here on Water Appa, who has no speed whatsoever. Frankie, don't you have some jets that you can propel to shoot us the other way? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Put the two fishmen in the water. Why don't you put the mermaid girl in the water and let her push while Frankie shoots jets at the same time?
Uh oh. Admiral or just a lucky shot by somebody? Oh, bitch. <laughs> oh, hell. Oh, Jesus. And Kuma's just, he's just a warlord, right? I think. We had so much going on with him that I didn't even get confirmation of his title or what it, what's actually going on. Ooh. Well, shit, Law got a nice little unit upgrade there to his crew. That's pretty dope. Who's the random in the... He's like, you're new, you're under me. He's not wrong. Oh, God. Kuma just randomly popping up. I mean, not randomly. There's a lot of attention coming to this island right now with what happened to the Celestial Dragons. I'm sure there's a lot of people that are going to be... Oh, they juiced him up. No way, Frankie just built that, by the way. No shot. No way. With what materials? Okay, whatever. They always got Frankie doing this wild shit. With, like, he has two pieces of 2 by 4 wood, right? Um, and just, like, creates these m massive things. Oh, my God. He took up... Kuma is holding both crews back. Oh, God. Next episode is probably going to be, well, not next episode. You know how One Piece likes to do. This could be in 10 episodes, but whenever this, if we actually get this. Okay, so he is a warlord. Got it, got it, got it. What If we get a Kuma versus Law and Kid, like actually verse, oh, man. That would be nice. Yeah, I know your picture. Optimus. Well, we know he didn't get actually done and dusted right there. Yeah, they could just send people there. They're... Yeah, anybody can show up. Okay, I'm starting to like not like Kid's ability as much as I thought I would, if he's just essentially Magneto. Is that is that all he just does is like push and pull and creates these like Optimus Prime arms and that's it? Like that's all he does or what? What is he doing? Yeah, I don't know what either of them are doing. But doesn't that work good in Kid's favor with Kuma being a uh... With Kuma being, um, all robotic and all, metal parts, isn't that the perfect matchup? Now again, if we're talking about a power system here, and Kuma also has the ability of the hockey, um, hockey puck, maybe it's not as simple as just pushing and pulling if he can cloak himself in something. There's a lot of specifics on what the three of their abilities are, how that works. I could sit here for an hour and talk about it, but I don't have enough information to actually get an accurate description of how this fight would go, because I don't really know of any of their abilities. The most basic, simplest one seems to be Kid at the moment. He seems to just essentially be Magneto. And if that's the extent of it, it's kind of eh, underwhelming, but I'm hoping, because like I said, again, I want to see somebody take, I want to see these Devil's Fruits, like, taken to a Gear 2 level, a Gear 3 level. His just pretty much seems surface level of... I'm Magneto, I attract Repel, but it's only, you know, on a metal bit. I thought he could do it with anything, like he's on his Nagato shit. 
Like he's the epicenter, can push pull anything. But if it's just that and that's as far as it goes, eh. Because what if there's nothing to push pull? Is he just kind of shit out of luck? Um, we'll see how that goes. But Kuma would probably be a good. But again, can he just freely push pull Kuma like that, given the metallic parts? Is it anything he senses? Like, can he sense that there's metal on him, or he probably doesn't know it, so he wouldn't try? I don't know. Can we push pull like belt buckles and all the? Who knows? And then what laws got going on? He has some like buggy chop chop fruit, but he can chop chop other things, not himself. He can put it back together too. If the sword does serve the purpose though, he better never lose that sword. Kuma showing up insane. Um, and we're waiting for the Admiral to show up too. And Rayleigh, if he has to bust out anything. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, and subscribe, and as always...